Hey, Dr. Pound here with Heal Better Fast, and today I have Elizabeth with me, who is doing some soul searching in the realm of holistic yeah. healing, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a chronic hip problem, right? I do, yes. And this has been going on for a while due to a motor vehicle accident, is that right? Motor vehicle accident and a gym injury. Okay, so yeah. tell me a little bit about what's going on, uh, your journey, and um, well, well you, how you, basically how you ended up here. Well, that's like so many, um, so many things. I actually um, had started finding myself as far as wanting to get fit, and I became a part, a member of a gym, and then decided, well, I'm gonna do a fitness competition. I got approached by a trainer, and then kind of started on that journey of working on gaining like muscle, you know, strength, and all of that, and just pushing my body to see how far I could, you know, make it, and. Wasn't really prepared at a 5 a.m. gym sesh and didn't do what I was supposed to as far as like letting it go, um, which is funny because that kind of applies to life. <laughs> so yeah, um, I had an injury with that and ever since then I haven't really been the same. And then I actually fell off a horse oh. not too long after that. So I injured the same side. Okay. Yeah, actually I totally forgot about that injury. But yeah, so it kind of actually made it worse. And so I've been doing like float therapy and chiropractic. What else have I tried? Um, a lot of massage, so I haven't tried cryotherapy, I'm really kind of interested in that, and um, yeah, so it's just been like a really like chronic sort of pain, so it's like this psoas muscle that I have that wraps around, and yeah, it's just a really complicated... So for people who don't know what the psoas muscle is, how would you explain it? Um, it's a muscle that wraps around, I, I believe from the groin, like up over the hip and then back down to close to the sciatic as far as... That's correct. Yeah. So when, it's one of the biggest hip flexors uh, in your body and it connects to the lower vertebrae, all, almost all of them. And so it's not just like one problem in the back can cause it. Anything can actually cause a psoas to tighten up. And this is a big muscle that goes inner part of the thigh, inner part of the hip, around to the inner part of the, um, the thigh. So a lot of people will come in, they'll actually point to the kind of their groin area and say, I've got this hip pain, but it's actually in their groin. Uh, it hurts when I get out of the car. It hurts when I go up and down stairs. Um, it hurts after I sit for long periods of time and then go to stand up, and I can't stand up because yeah. it hurts. Yeah, it's like this tightness. Like My leg actually just like feels like it's shorter. Like I'm kind of like... Now, have you had muscle work on your psoas? Um, yeah, I've done a lot of massage with it. Is it just it. awesome? or It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's painful. Amazing. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. It is, it is ever. great, but people like are squirming and kicking oh and sweating and swearing. Yes. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that. Oh, that'll later. be amazing. It's my favorite. It's and my we, favorite exercise. We'll, for we'll leave a link to that video as well as her uh, first experience in cryotherapy, which we'll be doing as well today. Yay. But before we get to that, we're going to do, uh, I guess, full spine adjustment, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm excited about that. Get everything to move really uh, easily, and then we'll get into all the uh, the nitty gritty dirty work. Yay. All right, okay. so let's have you lay on your back. Let's okay. kind of check and see where I'm at. Yeah, where you're at today. All right. Well, I told her her back, but she's on oh, her back. No, 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 it's fine. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll go there. We'll go I'm there. Like, I'm ready for my back <laughs> <laughs> to be adjusted. All right, so we're just making sure she's not walking crooked, which she is. That right hip is a little bit higher. Uh -huh. It looks like the right leg's short, and usually that will happen again when hip flexor or back muscles tighten up on the right side and kind of pull. Uh -huh pull the hip up like that. Mm -hmm. And so even though it looks like she has a short leg, walking a little crooked, it's actually just, uh, again, a, 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 ooh, that's really tight, mm -hmm. a bunch of tension in the low back. So definitely got some tension in the back. And because the psoas goes from the front, you actually can't really palpate it from the back, but these other muscles are tight, and I'll show you how we palpate that in just, in just a bit. But um, tense through here, tense through here, pain, mm -hmm. yeah, all tight. And right through here, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's start with an upper back adjustment. Okay, okay. Deep breath in. Breathe out. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Good. Relax. Mm, nice. Beautiful. All right. Lay on your left side facing away from me. Okay. Let's, let's, let's see if she gets a rest. She got a 50-50 chance. There you go. Yes. All right. Top leg bent. I bottom swear leg I went to school. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, she used to do real estate. I did. <laughs> so she's like well-rounded. Yeah. Reiki practitioner. Oh my there. goodness. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Deep breath in. Breathe out. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure through the back. Mm. Nice. Turn over to the other side. It's my favorite. Deep bend. Good. This arm up. Perfect. Deep breath in. Breathe out. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Ooh, you got away from me on that one. There we go. Mm. Good. Lay your back. Okay. 
Now, a lot of times when someone will have this kind of hip flexor issue, I'll find, again, that that leg is kind of, it looks short, and it feels like it's jammed in their pelvis or in their back. So what do I do for that? I yank on the leg, try and get it to release a little bit. So for this adjustment, if you don't have any knee, ankle, dislocation, surgeries, so I'm going to, we don't want to pull on something that's already fused, but if it's kind of nice and loose, just let your leg relax and then give the leg a little pull, okay? Oh, Did you hear that? Jesus. I hope you caught that on camera. That was, that was awesome. All right, so the next adjustment is going to be in the mid-back. Bring the arms together. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure in the back. Just kind of lay back. Good. There we go. Arms down. All right, let's check the neck. Make sure you got your head on straight. Mm. We'll have to see. <laughs> Tight right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to feel a little bit of pressure here. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Good. Wiggle the toes. Mm. Nice. Another deep breath in. Breathe out. Good. Mm. Bullseye. All right, go ahead and sit up. Okay. That was beautiful. All right, and that's a uh, full spine adjustment for someone who's dealing with a hip problem, how you get the hip to be more mobile. Again, check out the link below for how we release the hip and your first cryotherapy yes. experience, which we're going to right now. So yes. thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. Pound, helping you heal better fast. Thank you.